What's going on, people? We welcome you to the Gamma Pop. We welcome you to the Gamma Our family. It is time for evolution. So, in today's video, we're going to be speaking about uh, investing, crypto investing, and also I got into crypto during the the crash in March of last year, 2020. I didn't know anything about crypto, and since the crash happened, I decided this would be a good time to, to look into stocks and crypto. But I mainly deal with crypto, so. You know that's where it, it, to it took me and then you know now i just want to share this and so the funds that i put into crypto were mainly funds that i got from our commissions or you know funds that are, that are already in my savings within the bank and i just put them into uh crypto and then i just watched them uh you know grow and, and, it, and it is recommended to to like you know you can you can invest anyone can invest just make sure the project is good but you don't have to trade trading is different you know the, because for trading the price goes up and down uh with investing you know yeah with, with trading the price goes up and down traders are looking to make short-term profits uh investors are looking to make long-term profits so you know do what's best for you i'm recommending for uh, people to to do long-term uh, investments if you're not a trader because if you're a trader you constantly have to look at so many different things you constantly have to look at the news but if you're a long-term investor you know the project is good um you know long term then it'll be you know beneficial you'll see your money grow in, in you know in a year year or so and you don't have to like really know much about crypto all right so i'm going to quickly explain what are stable coins uh bitcoin you know and, and altcoins and how they all uh, fall together and and so stable coins are essentially they're like equal to the US dollar. So let's say if you know if Bitcoin goes up, you know, and as it goes up it's starting to go down, you know. And let's say you're you're anticipating it to go down. So you would switch your, your cash or your capital into stable coins and stable coins are equal to the US dollar and therefore they're going to remain stable. So if 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 the crypto market crashes or or anything like that your money is still going to remain safe because it's just stable it's not going to be you know it's not going to go up and down with with bitcoin because here you're putting into stable coin and why would you want to use stable coins well some there's some exchanges that that don't use uh that don't allow people to to use us dollars so that's why we have stable coins because they're quicker and they're equal to the us dollar. so let's say you wanted to pull out money because something is going bad or you know some again the, the price is going is, is going down you you pull out and you and you pull out into you know either you know these stable coins i'm not familiar with some of them but pretty much these are like the the three main stable coins uh usd uh us i think this is tether the green one and the, the yellow one is is die they're all stable coins just stable and so uh these are these are um altcoins and altcoins are, are essentially coins that are not bitcoin and remember that like bitcoin is like the, the first ever like cryptocurrency that's why it's like the top uh most coins follow follow bitcoin as it rises and and most coins do their own thing i mean like other coins do their own thing but yeah so these are like all the uh, the alternative coins okay so we'll call it that altcoins or alternative coins that's what it's when that's what it's uh, short for alternative so these are all alter alternative coins right and there's a, a list of different uh cryptocurrencies there some of them can be great projects some of them can be very not so good projects not so good projects so this is something that you want to like do your research in when you before you put your money or your capital into into something make sure the project is is legit and you know they're they're working on something like groundbreaking in the future and you know and, and i'll take some you could just like look at some youtube videos and check out some cryptos and see what they're see what they're doing and so and so essentially like how how this bitcoin how the cryptocurrency uh works it's like you know for example uh, um, a few a couple of years ago like bitcoin was worth one dollar right so let's say you, you bought bitcoin at one dollar and you know you bought bitcoin at one dollar and then you know now at 20 at 2021 now it's worth 50 you know that one bitcoin that you bought that was worth one dollar is now worth uh 57k right so 
So some people in the past they have bought they bought more than one Bitcoin when it was worth one dollar. You know, some people have put like thousands and thousands of dollars into it. So let's say you bought two Bitcoin, right? You would have double this amount that you that you see here. If you if you bought three Bitcoin that was worth one dollar, you'd have double the you'd have triple this amount, right? So essentially if you put like three dollars into Bitcoin in when it like in the past when it was worth one dollar you would have like a, a very large sum of, of money now in, in 2021. So some people have bought Bitcoin when it was, uh, they put thousands of dollars of it into Bitcoin when it was one, when it was worth $1. And now Bitcoin is worth uh, around, you know, uh, 57K, right? And so this is the same, this is, these are the same exact concepts when it comes to like alternative coins. You can see some coins are like at, 0.9 they're not even worth a dollar yet you know this is where bitcoin used to be like in the past you know some of these coins can be groundbreaking and be worth just as much as 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 uh as some of these coins you know uh, i know ethereum was at uh i guess like around 80 or at some point it was at three dollars you know now it's at the the 3k and i mean uh yeah yeah 3k now it's at 3k so Again, like it, it, it takes, you know, time to like, you know, grow your investments. And I think this is a, a great way to like to just invest and to get to know, uh, you know, the market as to what's going on, you know. So right now, I remember I mentioned uh, Tether, USDT. Uh, this is a stable coin, right? So this is worth this is equal to like one dollar. So let, let me give you let me give you guys like a, a chart of something more uh, simple. And so some of the popular exchanges that you can use, one of them being Binance. Binance is not available for New York users or some other states within the US. So some people may have to use a VPN. And also when I tried to use a VPN for this, uh, they were able to catch that. So I wouldn't, the, the system there was very uh, strong when it came to uh, finding people with uh, VPNs. So, and the reason why Binance is like, you know, great is because it has a whole bunch of coins in there compared to, to uh, Coinbase, which is more commonly well known. And Howl.com, this is also, you know, no, no New York users or US users allowed. However, the reason why I would prefer how Howlbee.com versus Binance is because Howlbee has, uh, the, the security to catch you on on a VPN is very very low, so you can bypass bypass Hobby with any kind of VPN, and they wouldn't really catch you. The reason why Binance is like uh, it's so high, highly so highly uh, it can it, it can catch people very easily is because it's, it's Coinbase and Binance are, are, are one of the most popular uh, uh, crypto exchanges in the in the crypt in the crypto community. Coinbase is more more user friendly. It's more beginner friendly. It has less coins, but it's more beginner friendly. And also at the same time, it's much more easier to transfer your your fiat currency or your US dollars on to Coinbase. And then there's Coinbase Pro. Coinbase Pro is essentially where you go to trade, and this is where the uh, your interface looks like. And I'm gonna also show you like these. This interface looks similar to various other. Uh, to, it looks similar to various other exchanges, and I'm going to show you that right now. And so this is uh, this is a, an exchange that the interface for how how be global. Or they have the Halby exchange. It, it looks similar to the Coinbase exchange. So, you know, m most of these are very similar. Right here in the red, this is where your sell orders at. People are selling here. Right here in the, in the, in the green, people are buying here, you know. And then there's these, uh, these, uh, these tread, these, these lines here, these, uh, moving averages. Uh, you can, you can, like, look that up on your own time. But uh, this is also something that can help you know where things are gonna go with crypto, and so some some of the some of the great uh, the people I consider like awesome when it comes to 
you know, crypto crypto field would be, you know, Crypto Kirby. I'd recommend that YouTube channel. Uh, Carl the Moon. I'd recommend that YouTube channel. Um, and 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 blockchain backer. I'd recommend this YouTube channel as well. And so, reason why I would recommend these YouTube channels is, is like, you know, you can learn to trade while you're watching their videos because they'll pretty much give you certain signals of what to look out for what not to look out for and you're learning you know along the way as you're uh as you're making making some profits you know and 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 also there's a difference between again there's a difference between trading and investing trading is more so you have to look at various different uh, analytical things uh, you have to know certain things about moving averages and, and, and all that, etc. Et but but you're not you're not. It, it, but you know if you don't want to trade, you can just invest. Find a project that you know will do well in the future, and then wait a couple years for your profits to grow. Because crypto is only going to keep keep growing. You know, so you know you don't you don't even have to trade or do any of that. You don't even have to follow any of these these channels. You know, you can just invest. But the reason why I would say to follow this channel is because you want to have some some knowledge. I think I think have, having having knowledge of trading and also investing and and like like having knowledge of trading, but you're investing, it gives you power to as an investor. It gives you more power, it gives you more confidence as to what you're you're investing your time into. You know, but you don't necessarily have to be trading. You could just invest and do other things with your life, you know. And so this is token sniffer. You know, pretty much what token sniffer is, it spots uh, uh, crypto scam coins. Uh, this one is a recent uh, crypto scam coin, V Shiba. Um, but it spots, uh, it spots, uh, you know, scam coins in the in the code. Right now, we're we're going to the the BTC chart, right? So right now. Uh, uh, Bitcoin is going down, and the reason why it's going down is because of this Elon Musk tweet uh, regarding him not accepting Bitcoin as payment because of its uh, use of uh, of, it, of uh, fossil fuels and it, it, Bitcoin using too much energy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And because he posted this, and he has a bunch of uh, you know, there's a bunch of people. He has a, a millions of, uh, of followers, right? So since he has million, millions of followers, uh, these millions of followers are, uh, th this, this affects the price. And, and this is why we can see Bitcoin going down and various other altcoins went down as well because of what happened here, you know. But again, if, if, if let's say for example, you bought here, you, this was your first time buying, buying uh, Bitcoin, you bought right here and it just dipped down right here and then you get scared you don't know you don't know what happened it could be because of news that happened but again you are investing you're not looking to get, to make some quick gains you're, you're you're investing for for the long term so if, if you if you're if you're investing for the short term i would recommend learning to trade if you're investing for the long term you don't have to trade but you but you want to know what project you're invested in so that you have confidence that the project is going to keep going and it's a great project to, to you know look into that it's a great project that's going to like become something great in the future you know and so, so some sometimes you you want to keep track of twitter twitter has a bunch of this crypto twitter in a sense so keep track of some of the news that happens surrounding crypto and also you know at the same time just remember and so in 2020 I joined a group a trading group and I started asking the professionals you know, questions about uh, cryptocurrency you know and they answered some of my questions and these are some of the uh, the tips that are uh, that I have so you know Bitcoin uh, BTC is short for Bitcoin you know so when BTC falls all, co all coins falls when BTC moves up too fast, all coins falls. When BTC slows down and does side-to-side -side actions such as con consolidation, we call it consolidation. You know, all coins are doing well. So, uh, most all coins do fall, but not all of them. The 
or the altcoins that do not so, so the, the the lesser known altcoins that aren't you know falling when BTC falls and all the other altcoins falls are usually privacy coins such as Monero and and Pirate Chain and, and other different privacy coins. So so right now BTC is again C is not doing much right now. It's there's there's a lot of uh, side to side. It keeps bouncing, you know. It's been doing this for you know a couple of, a couple of months or so. But it's just been bouncing. Not no major no major moves up. No major moves, you know, down until until like today right here with with this dip here. But it's still it's still like consolidating. It's it's still and and that's that's what it's called when when something is going up and down. There's no major moves. It's called uh, consolidate consolidation and so when th when this is consolidating all coins tend to uh, pump up and, and go up uh, go up because of this because because people are moving their funds out of Bitcoin and putting their funds into alternative coins you know And so right now I'm going to show you guys a good example as to why we we the people are the ones that control the market. We are the ones that are putting the price up. We are the ones that that are making green candles. We are the ones that are making red candles. You know, it's not some outside force. It is the con it's the collective of, of the humans that are that are, you know, making it go up or down, right? And so right now, this is a good example. Right now we are in v v -Shib -Shib Shiba V Shiba, this is actually a, uh, a scam token, but th yeah, this is actually not a good token to invest in right now. The reason why it's not a good token to invest in and it's a scam is because the contract in the code it prevents people from selling, you know. So, you want to be careful what you are, you know, invested in. And so, right now, you see all these buy orders, you know, these are from people that uh, some of them are bots, some of them are actual people that you know that fell for fell for the scam and you know this, it just kept on uh the this you can see buy 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 all these buy orders are the ones or the things that are driving the price up all these buy orders are the ones that are causing all the red candles each of these buy orders are each are individual people or they're they're bots you know so you see all the buy orders and no no sell orders you know and the reason why you know the code again it prevents people from selling the token so you can't sell even if it goes if it goes up you know and people realize this and this is kind of like the last buy order on top of here so there's no more buy orders you know and this is why this chart is remaining static it's just sitting still there's no, there's no movement and again you know people can't sell you know so since you can't sell you can really you can rarely see any uh you know red candles here i'm not sure what happened here I, I, this 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 red candle right here is kind of funny but i'm not exactly sure what happened uh but but you can see how it's like there's no selling like if you can go all the way to the start there's no selling whatsoever so this would be considered like a, a, a par parabolic move if this was a legit coin and then right here, you know, this is where you would kind of sell, but you can't sell. The the coin the coin kind of traps your funds. So again, be careful what you invest in. But again, I I just use this as a, as an example that hey, this is we we the people are the ones driving the price. When the price goes up, it means that it is bullish. Okay, when yeah, when the price goes up, it's bullish. When the price goes down, when you see start to see red candles, it's bearish. Uh, the, you can't you can't sell this token. You can only buy it so no one can like you really use it again it's a scam token so right now this is, this is a project that I'm that I'm definitely invested in this is a, the fake token so so right now you can see you see you can see natural you can see natural growth going on here uh, it's, uh, red marks it, it's, the, it's it's going it's going up you know it's essentially the end game is going up but it, you can see how there's, there's red candles you know green candles but overall there's more green candles and it's and it's going you know the price is increasing and then you know 
we see here this right here was a little uh, uh, correction you know yeah this right here was a little uh, correction because uh, why do we have this you know we the people are the ones that sold this why did people sell this long uh, candle thing is because of Bitcoin Bitcoin also dumped and the reason why Bitcoin dumped as said earlier was because of that Elon Musk tweet and when Bitcoin dumps you know fast uh, most altcoins are going to dump as well you know so again these are people you know if the general consensus held this this crash wouldn't happen but that but because of what happened with uh, with Bitcoin you know everyone else just took out their funds because everyone else was doing it but this could this could this could be a good opportunity let's say you were anticipating this to happen right this could be a good opportunity to like uh, you know take profit here uh, put this into a put this into a stable coin like USDT and then purchase it when it's low and then you, you get some more gains when you purchase it when it's you know low and then as it's rising back up but you know I don't got time to like stare at a chart every single day you know then that's like a that's like trader that's like the, the, the trader life uh, sometimes I trade but most of the times I got I got other stuff I like to you know do instead of like look at the charts every single day and like see when is the right move to do you know again I, I prefer long-term investing and then sometimes you know sometimes every now and then I'm like trading but I'm not you know I'm not trading that much this is long-term investments And so if you were trading, right, you can use there are these uh, indicators. You, you can you can watch another a, a crypto channel that, that goes into details with indicators. But pretty much this is the RSI. RSI is a good indicator. Like, for example, if it comes, if this mark here, like reaches this black spot on top, this is like a good time that it, it shows that it's over, it's overbought. And most likely it'll come back down so you could sell when it's overbought somewhere right here and when it comes back down you could buy back again later but you know it, it gets more don't only use this you know there's so much other factors to uh, a price going up and, and down but this can be like a good addition but don't let this be the deciding conclusion or just the, the deciding factor as to what your plan would will be in, in a trade but you know again you know you can find that somewhere else on, on YouTube. They go more in detail with that. <clears throat> and so an exchange I forgot to mention, which is really cool and where you would most likely find very, you know, hidden gems, great coins that many people aren't aware about in, in the crypto community would be Trade Ogre. And so Trade Ogre is very secretive, it's, it's, it's very uh, private, they don't ask for much information. And you can also purchase the low-key privacy coins from this from this market, Trade Ogre. Uh, currently, and so currently, or you know for now you know we we we're not like uh, this does uh, this website does not require KYC and what KYC is is know your customer know your customer means give me your details so i know who you are but, uh, famous or you know popular exchanges such as uh, uh, coinbase or binance they require you to give id your driver's license you know uh, do all this stuff to confirm your identity this is called know your customer short is KYC this does not uh, require you to do any of that all it requires you is to provide a, a email and then you can just trade in and buy uh, however this does not this does not have uh, USD you can't you can't buy coins with US dollars on this you need to uh, you need to purchase Bitcoin and then use your Bitcoin to purchase the coins on this on this uh, exchange you know and again these coins are very good they're privacy coins and you can you can you can uh find you can you can go like when we go back you can go to like coinbase right and coinbase coinbase is very easy for beginners to go go get into so you could go to coinbase purchase btc or bitcoin you know 
uh, and then uh, send that Bitcoin to your your trade ogre account and then when you receive that Bitcoin on your trade ogre account you could use that Bitcoin to purchase uh, you know pirate Monero you know etc etc and all these other uh, coins and so how does the how does the wallet system work uh, I won't go into detail with it like in, in this video we can look that up on on YouTube or so but in short uh, you you get a wallet. That's it. This is this is like your your XRP wallet. You download some uh, software. This is a multi wallet software here. This is like XRP, and so this let's say let's say you wanted to you know receive XRP, you would you know send this to whoever person that you want to give you the XRP. So this is like your XRP address. You copy and paste this. You send it to the person, and then. They they'll send you the XRP through this code, and so let's say you you wanted to send XRP to someone else, right? And let's say they <clears throat> let's say they gave you a code. Let's say this is the your your the the, the opposite. Let's say this is like your friend's code, right? So he gave you the code, and then you're going to send it, right? So you would put this code on send. This is the code. Uh, you don't really have to. You know, do this is recommended, but it's not required. Well, some some coins, some coins don't really, you know, require it. Uh, then you can, you know, send your amount. You can send, you know, twenty one dollars or or two dollars or so, and then send it to your friend's account. But again, this is my address, so I'm not gonna send this to myself. But you know, in short, you know, this is how how sending works. So you will get a code. When you make an account, you'll get your own uh, address. You know, on on any you know on you'll get your own address on on an exchange, and uh, you can start exchanging uh, sending cryptos from there. You know, so let's say I wanted to send this to my Trade Ogre account. I don't I don't think this this I don't think Trade Ogre has XRP, XRP, but you know let's say again I would go on my Trade Ogre account. I'll look for my the XRP uh, address on my trade o trade over account, and then I would copy it here, and I'll send the amount, and then I'll yeah, then I'll send it, and then it'll it'll pass through. Uh, so I, again, I don't know if it, this accepts uh, XRP, but I'm just using it. Just, just just imagine this is a uh, Bitcoin. You know, this works the same way. And so and so when you make a wallet, when you make a wallet. Uh, the first thing that they're going to give you is a uh, is a seed phase, and a seed phase is very, it's it's like uh, let's say your computer gets destroyed, a meteor hits, crashes, you're in, just burns everything, you know. As long as you have your seed phase, you can get a new computer, download the same software, and then use that seed phase to, you know, get back or get back into your, you know, recover your account. You know, so it'll be like as if you didn't lose, you didn't lose anything, you know. So this is why you never, ever give away your seed phase. Your seed phase is like your social, social security. So if you, if you, if you find anyone asking you for a seed phase, oh, let me see your fee seed phase, da, 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 da. Uh, it's a scam. You can tell them to piss off, you know, <laughs> but you know, this don't, don't give them, don't give them that seed phase is private. You don't give your fee seed phase to anyone. Even if it's someone who's trying to impersonate some customer support, saying, "Oh, can you give me a C face?" No, you don't give them your C face. It's like your, it's like your full-on social security for you know collecting uh, your your crypto. And if you lose your seed phase, you will lose your crypto. So you want to make sure you write down your seed phase. Make sure you keep it. You know, make sure you remember your seed phase, it's just in case you want to recover it again. Just in case a meteor. You know crashes down onto your you're into your computer and everything is destroyed you want to make sure you have your seed phase so when you get a new computer you could also recover you could recover those stuff your, your your funds all right and so i usually don't use this wallet to store my funds the reason being is because you know the the, the, the cryptos that i am invested in usually people don't know about it yet so I'm like very early in the project. I'm er so early that crypto YouTubers aren't talking about the project. You know, you, that's how early you want to get. And the more early you are, 
the more uh, gains you'll get when the coin pumps up. Most coins that are on this wallet are, you know, they're already popular. They, most people already know about them. YouTubers are already talking about them, but I love the interface of it. But you wanna, you wanna, you know, you can also come here to invest for, if you're, if you're a beginner, you can come here to invest in, you know, coins that are, or everyone is already talking about, you know, the coins that are popping now, the coins that are trending now. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm personally like invested into coins like Pirate Chain, many people aren't uh you know aware of that uh and i'm invested in you know various you know various different uh, coins that you know that are you know different and pirate chain is not accepted on here uh you do want to get your 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 if, if you do buy from an exchange you do want to get your crypto out of the exchanges because it, the exchanges that you purchase it from they could shut down who knows what could happen to it the website could shut down i don't know but something could happen to the to the website so your your cryptos are more so safe within a wallet so if you purchase from you know trade order and you know let's say you, this wallet doesn't support power chain and, and, th and this wallet doesn't support power chain uh the pirate chain they have their they have their own wallet you know so you can go on their website download their wallet from their website and then send your pirate chain that you purchased from trade over onto the pirate chain uh yeah the, onto the pirate chain wallet you know instead of using this wallet you know and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching feel free to like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video you know tell me what you enjoyed it you know are you gonna invest are you thinking about investing or i'm just not gonna do it you know but you know anyway i just i just wanted to share this video so just to help someone to open their mind to you know investing so if you're if you're doing our commissions uh you can also look into long-term investing you don't have to trade or anything and look go to get like understandable a good project or you know do your research on a good project after you do your research, put your money into something, and then you just let it sit there for a year. And so I'm just going to give you guys a cool gem to invest in. If you're a beginner and you don't want to go on Trade Org and do all these, you know, jump loops and bounds just to uh, purchase a, a coin on a different exchange like Trade Over. Uh, this is more more so people know about it, and it, it is doing some revolutionary things uh, with decentralized gaming uh this they also have their own you know it's official uh they have their own company it's a business uh the, the people the co-founders have docs themselves so this you want to make sure that whoever's running the project they've revealed themselves you know if they haven't revealed themselves it could be something fishy you know but this doesn't apply to all scenarios and so again do your research on as to what you're investing into so i would recommend to you know just youtube saddle youtube what whatever you're you're investing into read about whatever they're doing you know you want to know what you're investing into it's just so that you have the confidence that you know everything is going to be good in the long term so there's a good you know investing uh coin to get into and And it's pretty early too, so not much price action is going on. You see people buying, you see people selling, but again, not much, not much is happening. Nothing much is happening right now. And this is usually a good time to buy. When it's boring, this is a good time to buy. You know, you don't want to buy when everything is hype and it's going up and oh, it's, it's so crazy and it's in the media. You want to buy when it's like low key, no one's talking about it. Get in early. But this is a good coin to you know to invest in uh, right now. It looks like a legit project and again anything can happen maybe these co-founders pass away and the project is dead so we'll keep keep up with the news of whatever a uh, project that you're investing in see what new things that they have for the future and uh yeah that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace